Yeah, look. You want to show everybody? There you go. See? Say hi. Yeah. Who's that? That's my mom's baby. There you go. Say hi. What you doing? Yeah, I see that smile. I see that smile. Yes, I do. Yeah, he's so silly. So your girl is back and we're about to do another synthetic lace front video. This is one company that I really do like a lot for synthetic lace front wigs. Bobby Boss has some really nice wigs. They look very natural. I like the textures that they use for the synthetic fibers. So I'm really excited about this one. Plus, it's a different color. This one right here, you can get it from Elevate Styles. They have all the latest new wigs. You can also pick up hair accessories, hair care products, and you can also follow them on their social media. Yeah. Glueless Lace Wig, 13 by 7 inches of hand-tied deep lace, which is different because normally we'll see like 13 by 6. And the secure adjustable elastic band, customizable baby hairs, HD transparent lace. This one I have in the color TT4 slash 12613. I'm not really sure how you pronounce this. I think it's Etiana, but I'll definitely link it below. Before I even take the tissue paper out, I wanted to show you how the baby hairs look when you get the unit. The color is really nice. The lace is really soft. This is really nice for a synthetic unit. I do like the fact that they put an elastic band. Where you can adjust it and make it tighter or just allow it to fit more snug. And then there's also the adjustable strap in the, in the back and the comb as well. There are combs right here behind the lace. So she's looking really cute. I like the way they ombre the color. I'm thinking like she's probably like about 18 inches. The hairline is pretty thin for it to be a synthetic wig, which is impressive. The cool thing about this unit, you could part her anywhere you want. The young lady has her in the middle part. I don't think I'm going to be doing the middle part. But we're going to try her out and see how she is. Let's get into this tutorial. All right, ladies, let's get into the synthetic lace front wig. Now, first, let me tell you guys, I'm really excited to try this wig out. I have seen nothing but really good reviews for Bobby Boss's lace wig, this one here. I've always loved Bobby Boss wigs. They have amazing wigs. And this one right here is definitely going to be a winner. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the lace off. Now, it does advertise as HD lace. So to me, it's not really HD. It's not really transparent. But I'm not really too concerned about that because do you see the hairline? It's nicely thinned out. And this is like really impressive for a synthetic lace front. So Bobby Boss has come through for those who are on a budget or just want to add more wigs to their collection. Me personally, I like synthetic and human hair wigs, especially if it's a nice synthetic wig, you know, like something that don't even look like it's a synthetic wig, girl, you definitely, definitely would have to get this one right here. Just from the hairline alone, it's really like a nice wig. So I'm just dipping into some of the lace because I don't want it so jagged straight across. And it didn't really come past my hairline by the ear portion, so I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the hair down a little bit over like the sideburn hair so you know I'm not really too concerned about that either but I do like the way the hair feels on the unit it feels very human hair like and you, you guys you know I always tell you make sure you have like some clips you don't have to spend a lot on like your hair accessories your hair tools like the clips go to your local Dollar Tree dollar store get you some clips so I'm just gonna take some of the baby hairs out and I'm just gonna clip them back with the clips that you know as you see here and I really don't want a lot of baby hairs the reason why I'm parting it also is because it will also help me 
to spray some of my hairspray on it. I'm not going to spray a lot. I'm just going to spray some on the sideburn area so that way I'm sure that it'll stick down. I'm just going to take my blow dryer and blow that down. Normally I'll do like the whole entire frontal but being that this is synthetic I don't really want to spray too much of it. So I'm just going like in small sections. I'll spray a little bit there and then I'll leave like a gap and then I'll just go and blow dry it. And it dries really quick. I do have it on like a cool temperature. And I'm just going to press the nozzle into the hairline just to set the wig. And then I'll spray some like a little bit in the front. I'm not going to do like the entire wig as I would do a lace, a human hair lace front. Just enough for the lace to hold down in place. And you just need a tiny bit because this product does hold really well. And if you don't have a blow dryer, you can always put on a scarf or you can take a piece of elastic like you would put in your wig and just tie it around your hair. That's what I had on actually in the beginning of the video was a piece of elastic that I sewed together. And I use that at night to adhere my wigs or just to keep my wigs on. It's just is more comfortable, more comfortable than an actual scarf. And it also holds the hair down a lot better. So I'll just spray in little sections and then I'll just blow dry. Now I'm just going to take my eyebrow trimmers and cut some of the sideburn hairs. And I'm not really sure if I wanted to cut the baby hair, so I just left them. Because once you cut them, they don't really curl. They're kind of like sharp, blunt. So I just decided to leave them and just cut only the sideburn hairs. I'm going to take some of that bedhead hairspray and spray it on my favorite toothbrush. And I'm just going to sculpt my sideburn hairs with that. The reason why I'm not spraying it on the entire wig is because it is synthetic. And once you spray the synthetic hair, it kind of gets really kind of filmy and thick. So I just rather spray it on the toothbrush versus spray it on the hair. And that's how I just sculpt these sideburn hairs or these wispy hairs on the side. decided you know let me just take the hair down and see how I'll style the wispy hairs sometimes it's just a lot easier when you take the hair down and she's gorgeous like look at the color this color is so pretty it brushes so nicely it's a nice density I like the length of it to me it looks like it's about 18 inches the hairline is gorgeous for a synthetic wig you cannot go wrong okay and listen girl the price is definitely affordable. Elevate Styles got some bomb wigs. And this is just what I decided to do with the baby hairs. I'm just going to I'm going to definitely hook it up a little bit better in the front. But for right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. But do you see that hairline? Look how natural that looks. Like for a synthetic wig, I can't help myself but just keep saying it because I'm very impressed. Like for real guys, this is a really nice wig. And all you got to do is just take your pressed powder and make it look a little bit more scalpage like. And the reason why I'm doing this with the blow dryer is just to kind of lay the hairs down a little bit more, being that I parted it. I just try to get it as flat as possible. And this is on the actual high heat. And this is also for the hairline. I'm just trying to press it in a little bit more. And this actually does work. But that hairline looks really good. Especially from back in the day when lace wigs first came out. But synthetic wigs, girl, we had to really work them. But innovation, man. I'm just going to take some of my pressed powder and put that over the lace. Just to make it look a little bit more closer to my skin complexion. And isn't she cute? I'm saying. I'm feeling really cute in this wig, guys. Okay, Bobby Boss.
really feeling this wig, especially because it's synthetic. Like, okay, we have stepped it up like 12 notches with synthetic lace front wigs. The fact that the hairline is thin, you can put your press powder on the lace and just be out the door. I like this wig a lot. I like it a lot. Didn't know how to style it. It already had the middle part in it. And when I put it on, I was like, oh, this look cute. You know what I'm saying? I like it when it look cute. And I don't really do the middle part thing, but I thought it really looked cute in the middle part the way they already had it styled. But I definitely want to see what it looks like to the left or to the right. I did not tack the entire wig down. I just went in like sections, you know. This was definitely the end that I did tack down the most. And then I was here, and then I was here. So I spaced it out because it is a synthetic wig. Like you really don't have to tack the entire thing down. But she came out pretty. The color is gorgeous. This is actually really, really pretty. Bobby Boss be out doing themselves at times. I really think that they do. The texture, the style, the versatility, the options. I do love every last one of my Bobby Boss wigs that I've ever worn. And I will say they do make some really good quality lace fronts. Period! I want to see how it looks parted to the opposite side. So she looks rather cute on this side, but I'm really concerned about how I styled it. So I want to check out what the left looks like. Bobby Boss has definitely took over for the girls who are on a budget. You definitely still need to look cute. This wig is one synthetic lace front wig that you know what, I think this is like the best synthetic lace front wig I have ever tried on. Because when you run your fingers through this hair, it feels like human hair, for one. It's not getting all tangled. Okay, and also, you ever get a synthetic lace front and it gives you a lot of parting, but when you want to part it and just maneuver it to the next side, it's so hard to style on the next side. This one, you can just part it and just brush it over easily and it'll stay put. It just looks very human hair-like, okay? You would be fooled that this was even synthetic. Bobby Boys came through for the ladies on a budget, like for real. This wig is cute, okay? I think this is my favorite side. I like it better on the left side the most. You guys let me know which one or side or middle part, what did you prefer the most? And if you have this wig, what do you think about it and what color do you have? And just all in all, let me know what you think, you guys. So on that note, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumb this video up. Make sure you share it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Real, you could do like all kind of stuff with this little cute wig. So. Get him, spin him, but listen, my shoe in the denim. I put the records on him. Big man's can't bend him. Ops, we hit him. Fuck him off, he bend him.